Now I baby my skin, I like literally like look after it like this. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today's one is going to be about summer prep, about prepping for vacation and just everything else because I'm actually heading for a mini 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 summer holiday in well it's pointless even to say that because actually i will be going to santorini to mykonos to madrid this summer so there will be a lot of summer trips i think like when you sort of work in my industry it's always expected that you like really look after yourself and that your beauty standards are quite high which sometimes can be a bit pressurizing but being an eastern european girl is pressurizing when it comes to beauty standards because Actually, the way I grew up and the way kind of I like the, my environment growing up was very very focused on like high beauty standards and when I sort of like realized how much time and effort us women put into staying beautiful and looking after ourselves, I was like, oh my god. But today's video is going to be all about how to make that process easier, how to look good, feel good and just like be very comfortable in your own skin during the summer months. It sounds almost unachievable but I think being comfortable is what matters the most. Before I get into all the details I wanted to say that like there is no rule on what you have to do or how you have to look or what kind of processes you have to put yourself through because I think you should only do what really makes you happy and um, that's again the basics of what I'm going to be talking to you about today. There are a few things that I wanted to discuss and thing number one is going to be hair removal. I wasn't sure if I should speak about this or not because I think like the topic can sometimes be a little bit like private and awkward but then I thought like we're women or also men who watch these videos um, and it's fine to talk about this also it's fine to have hair to have a lot of hair to shave to not shave to do whatever you want but in my personal beauty standards no hair is the policy I obviously have like very very thick dark hair which is very curly and tends to be quite coarse so hair removal is a topic on its own um, growing up I realized that basically my underarms can never look perfect without having that sort of like dark pigmented mark which started really really annoying me and especially in the summer months when for example uh, I'm in like little tube tops and then I lift my arm and it's really dark and looks pigmented under my arm even though I have just shaved that used to bother me the most like everything else was kind of you know like you, you kind of get away with like shaving or waxing even though like waxing is like annoying in summer months you cannot wax because you cannot wait for your hair to grow and then shaving means like shaving every day and getting irritated pretty much every day so I sort of started thinking what are my other options when I was a student I remember very well I was in boots and I spotted like brown IPL device which was saying that if you use it like in few sessions it will help remove hair permanently. Now I just wanted to mention that this video is in part collaboration with Brown Silk Expert Pro 5 to present you their product that I have been using now for over four weeks I think. What I have been doing in the past month in order to get ready for summer is I've been using this device that I will show you in a moment to kind of help prevent my hair from growing. So for me doing this at home in my own time is something that is a dream. Okay so when the product arrived it looked like this. I kept the box specially for you guys because I thought this might be interesting for you to see as well. And then as you open it there is a beauty bag which actually is quite a cute beauty bag especially for traveling. And then it comes with like all the product information inside here but I will show you what's in this little beauty bag you have um, a lot of different things it's kind of like compartmentalized compartmentalized it's basically like divided in separate uh, parts and you will uh, find inside the Silk Expert Pro 5 device which looks like this it has a very long cable which for me was so useful 
because it meant I can do it on my bed and still plug it in and have enough like sort of space to do it on my bed in my own kind of comfort zone. So when I was looking into this, I remember as a student, I was looking at this in boots and I was thinking, okay, I need to save money for this. And since my sister was a boots pharmacist, I was like, maybe we should get this and you can get a discount, like your staff discount. And then we can get this device because I think it would be really great since it promises long lasting hair removal results in just four weeks if you use once a week i was like that's crazy and isn't it amazing so we kind of like it's been like many many years that i've known about this what also comes in this uh, little pouch is a venus shaver because you really need to shave uh, your legs and the areas that you want to treat before now i already have a venus razor in my shower because that's the, literally like the only one i use i just use a different one um I use the breeze but yeah um, so it's anyway in my shower and basically what you need to do first is shave and then once you plug this in and you start using it it uses a technology called sensor adapt to adapt to your skin tone so that the actual like treatment is very safe for your skin brown also has like a hundred day like um, policy of in case you're not happy with their products you can always um, give them back in hundred days which I think is pretty crazy it kind of like guarantees success right i don't know what you guys think about it but here's my story so this device has three modes it has like a normal gentle and extra gentle i just used it on the normal settings and i used it once a week but i'm a super not patient person i hate kind of doing stuff that take very very long time and it takes me it took me uh let well i would say around five to six minutes to do both legs i have discussed this in a lot of detail with also my beautician because at one point i was also like hearing loads of different rumors like you know like oh i don't know if that's safe blah 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 but i've like consulted so many of my like friends and beauticians and a dermatologist and everybody said that this would be absolutely safe for me to use at home in my own comfort and how I want to. So that's what I've been doing now and I wanted to tell you what my results are. I actually almost have got no hair underarm anymore which for me is very shocking. The hair that I have is very very like uh, there's just like, like it's not thick hair you know how sometimes out of one like hair root you have like four strands coming out I mean or is that just me uh well I have no more hair like that there's like like the root is much weaker there's so little hair that even if like I skip a shave you can't really see it at all it's incredible and then on my legs where I've been shaving for a long time and the leg is such a big area I still have hair growing I still have to shave and I still have to continue with the treatments um, however there are actual gaps where hair is not growing at all anymore so I have like no hair at the bottom like closer to my foot but then the knee area I still have to keep working on and then the side like the left like this kind of like outer side of the legs still has hair but inner side of the legs has less hair I think like it depends probably on how the roots are and it's not like very oh so I've done this area it's not gonna grow there anymore like some areas I just have to be much more persistent with but what I'm the happiest about is my other area because you guys will see it this summer you guys will see it in the videos I have no more like dark underarm it's honestly something I'm so happy about and so proud of and it makes me feel just so so confident because having that dark underarm it's just something that always made me feel very very conscious I like you know that feeling when you're just like lying in the Sun and you're like this and then like you have someone here and you're like oh my god like why is my underarm so dark I don't like it well I would just like to mention again hair is fine no hair is fine bushy hair or like dark underarms is fine but that's just not what I personally like and I just wanted to get rid of that so I'm very very happy that I managed to get rid of that so yeah, you can get your own uh, brown uh, Silk Expert Pro 5 IPL in Boots and I will leave a link below for you guys to check it out. Let me know um, what you think and let me know if you would like to try it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to like drop me a comment below and I'll try and get back to as many of you as possible. Well, I always get back to all of you, so I will get back to you. <laughs> Moving on, I wanted to speak to you about nails. Now, nails on my toes and on my hands. I'm not going to be showing you my toes because that's very awkward and there's a lot of perps on the internet. Before 
summer vacation, I always, always, always give my nails a gel break, which means that I had a gel-free May completely. I did not do any gel nail polish in May, well, first 10 days of June. So I gave my nails a nice break. I was using oils on my nails and just like really, really making sure that I'm nourishing my cuticles and my nails. I love using the Lush Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter and just any kind of oil you can find either in your kitchen or in my case in my office drawer I have argan oil, I have tea tree oil. I actually like even mixing them because tea tree oil is antibacterial and is really really great for kind of like keeping all of those like bad things away if your nails are sensitive. Um, so I kind of mixed a little kind of concussion mix of like argan oil which is rich with uh, vitamin E and uh, tea tree oil which is antibacterial like I said so I was like applying that oil a lot it doesn't really smell that great if you ask me but it was really really healthy for my nails and then uh, just before the holidays I went to dry by which is basically my favorite nail uh, destination in the world uh, I always see Karina uh, the nail artist I would say um, and I pretty much always go for the same colors so I have CND romantique and bow on my nails and some nail art on top and why I like this is because when I'm swimming, when I'm sunbathing, when I'm using a lot of sun lotions and cream like SPFs or even mosquito repellents, the DEET inside of mosquito repellents tends to remove the nail polish like or makes it like very sticky and kind of dilutes it because it's like an organic solution so it doesn't happen with the gel. When I have gel I know that these nails will look like this for two weeks and same goes on my toenails, I have gel on my toenails because again Mosquito repellent removes the nail polish, um, certain like lotions as well tend to play with it and again like swimming every day chips the nail polish so for me gel is the way to go. I'm very very happy because it's low maintenance and I still apply my cuticle oils uh, as well as foot cream. I wanted to show you my three favorite foot creams. Here I am like obsessed with using them again, not gonna demonstrate how I do it because I think there's like a sun streak over there. Sorry about that, hope it doesn't bother you. The three favorite foot creams I'm a little bit obsessed, but I wanted to show you. We have a Soap and Glory Heels Genius Amazing Foot Cream. This is more like a jelly version. It feels very refreshing, so especially after you've worn heels or if your feet feel tired and exhausted and just need a bit of nourishing. And it's also, I think, the cheapest uh, like option of all three. Then Ameliorate Smooth Skin Science Intensive Foot Treatment. Now this one has alpha hydroxy uh, acids in it, uh, which means that it really, really like exfoliates nice, like the dead skin and all that stuff. And I love this, it smells good. Mm, it smells really good. It's very small, I think it's around 15 pounds for 75 milliliter, uh, which I guess is expensive for a foot cream. I don't know, you tell me. But what I love this, is that I apply it and I put some socks on, then socks on, and then when I remove them, my feet are really, really soft and smooth, and they just really, really love this cream. There's another product that I love and I almost run out of now is Birds Bees Coconut Foot Cream with Vitamin E. Vitamin E really nourishes skin, and I love this, but it's very, very oily, so it's like coconut oil, but it's in like a kind of like very, very thick thick version. It says it's 99.4% natural. Um, doesn't smell, I don't know, like anything special. It's kind of weird, a little bit, like very natural smell. But it's very, very good. But I would only use this at night because it's very oily and kind of like, like gooey almost. It's like putting jam on your feet. It doesn't sound very attractive, does it? But I love this because it's really, really softening as well. So these three would be my favorite um, foot creams and I really do recommend them. One other thing that's very important for me before summer vacation is my skin on my face because during like that summer holidays or in general like summer, I tend to wear a lot less makeup and if I'm going to like Greece or Croatia or Maldives or whatever. I like not to wear any makeup when I'm... Well, at the beach, I definitely wear no makeup regardless to everything else. But I also like to feel good not wearing makeup. I like to wake up and to look at myself and think like, wow, my skin is glowing, it looks good, I'm happy with it, and I'm happy not wearing any makeup. I Yesterday I was trying to find some pictures on my phone and I've spoken about this in so many other videos as well. But I used to have like a kind of problem with my skin where I would get a breakout, I would pick on it, and since I have like a darker skin tone, 
well not it's not a darker skin tone it's just the skin tone that does get dark in the sun uh, my skin pigments so if I pick on a spot it will pigment and the pigment will not go away for like months and it's very frustrating because then when I remove my makeup like in the summer months and then pigments and then even though I use SPF 50 on my face and it just doesn't look good it doesn't look good it's not glowy it's not like nice I don't feel comfortable I feel very very insecure I used to feel very insecure with my skin but those times are over because now I baby my skin I like literally like look after it like this and um, I go on regular like for regular facial treatments so Recently, I've had a facial at Harrods Wellness uh, Wellness Clinic, which I love so much and fre frequently go to like cryo sessions. But this time, I went to NYDG, which is I think a second or a third facial that I've had of this type. I've had one in New York already, in their like original uh, where it comes from, uh, from that like Dr. Colbert came up with. And this time, I saw Dr. Costas in Harrods. And he really like analyzed my skin with it, like all of these tests and then I had the triad laser because it was performed by a doctor and someone who really knows what he's doing. He really really looked at my skin and kind of went as far as he could for us to get the best results. It's a super non-invasive non treatment and what I love about it is that basically first you do the triode laser which feels great because I love heat and it's like really warm and that kind of like boosts your collagen production. It's, the, it's not the laser that makes you red and peely, it's a different type of laser, it's a triode. And after that we did oxygen and hyaluronic acid uh, feed for my skin so it's like this little thing that like goes over your skin and it like literally like puts oxygen and hyaluronic into your skin it feels divine I really enjoyed that and it was amazing and after that you do like a face like sheet mask with acids and an LED light incredible like incredible after that my skin was just amazing like the makeup applies so beautifully it's so glowing I feel so comfortable like this morning I woke up and I was doing my makeup and I was like oh my god I'm having a pretty day because sometimes I have ugly days but I mean, it happens more than sometimes. But anyway, um, I think it's also like, you know, 100% down to the facial because having the skin that glows and looks healthy is for me like number one top priority. Also, like before um, getting like ready for summer, you guys know I use frequently like the acids and the retinoids, etc. Uh, when I'm exposed to the sun, I don't use those because it gets to sensitize the skin a lot more. So I just use very, very strong SPF. I use my Sisley, which I already packed away, um, SPF 50 every single day. Um, I love that product and I think it's just great for me. I also have to say, talking about good skin, like body skin when it's like hairless and nice also needs to be glowy and I love using exfoliators now this is my absolute favorite uh, body scrub but um, it is very sticky because it's just out of shower it's the Jo Malone vitamin E body treatment scrub this smells like you cannot even imagine it's like oh, the most incredible smell ever the only problem with this is that I cannot travel with it because this is 600 gram and girl I don't have that much space in my luggage or that much in my overweight because my luggage is anyway always overweight. This is incredible for exfoliation. Um, it really, re it's not like one of those like scrubs that you keep scrubbing and it doesn't do anything. This one is the best. It also leaves your skin so soft because it's kind of like a little bit oily and but not like in a way that it will clog your pores. Just in a very, very nourishing way and I love that it has vitamin E because like I mentioned several times in this video it is known to really nourish your skin and to kind of look after it and to give it the good stuff so this is my absolute favorite body scrub I like to sometimes when my skin really needs a lot of effort first apply this I go into the shower dry skin I scrub 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 and then I rinse and it's like the best feeling ever like ever my Favorite, favorite, favorite body cream, always next to my bed, this is the Christmas edition, is the Kiehl's Kiel, Creme de Corps. I think I don't have much of this left anymore. This is very, very nourishing. I love using this. I also love using oils in the summer months on vacation, but oils do tend to uh, make you sweat a little bit more or feel a bit more like sweaty and hot. Um, so at the moment, I'm also using my favorite La Mer uh, after sun treatment, which is just divine and 
for me it's like incredible so I love using that product because it really makes me feel um, sort of like moisturized after exposing to the sun of course exposing to the sun you have to be very careful use a very high SPF which does not mean that you will not tan it just means that your skin will be better protected especially in today's day and time with like you know all the bad things that can happen to your skin please 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 this summer always have SPF on hand it's extremely important last but very very important for me is the hair before going on vacation I never color my hair because it does tend to go a little bit lighter in the sun and the color changes and then I need to recolor it anyway after the vacation so I don't color my hair then. I've only colored my hair once this year and it was in February so this is what it is. Sorry about today's hair though it's a bit like quick. I love to use the Kerastase Soleil range in the sun. It really really works for me. I've got um, like a cream and I've got the oil which is like beach bee face oil mist sun exposed hair. These are both leave-in and what I do is well first of all I don't like getting my um, hair in the chlorine water in the pool uh, because I think you know chlorine tends to dry the hair but also salty water tells to dry the hair it tends to dry the hair because it's the salt however I do make sure to like really really wash it with like like when I'm out of swimming to wash it under the shower uh, at the beach and then I would apply this or I would just apply a hair mask as well while I'm just lying in the sun I think it's very important I also if you're protecting your color wear a hat that will help actually protect the color but these two have been working for me for years now I always apply them uh, by the pool by the beach wherever I am because it really really helps nourish the hair and protect it from those bad sun effects and I think that's something extremely important I also use hair oils um, during the summer months because they also like keep the moisture inside the hair and um, it really helps with sort of not getting not needing to chop it all off when I'm back from my vacation so I hope this video helped you a little bit in a way these are my like own personal like advices tips and tricks I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any tips and tricks that I didn't cover let me know what are your little hacks for summer holidays and just feeling comfortable in your skin during the summer months Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!